Okay, we got the fuselage up and drying, so we brought the wing back on. And now we're going to set up the control stick into the wing area here. So the first thing we're going to do, take four screws out. Take the forward two screws out. And the aft two screws out. Leave them out. You're going to take your two saddle clamps and they go down over them holes. Lay your control link, your control stick up in there. Before you do this, let me correct myself. Take your control stick, put the bolt in, put the nut on, then put that down in there like you're going to put it in the final time. <clears throat> Take your two brackets, lay it on top of here, and you're going to drill right down straight through here four times. <clears throat> through the bracket okay this bracket here comes flat so you have to bend it just a little bit of an angle to fit the dihedral of your wing <clears throat> so you get these four holes drilled Then you take it back off just for a moment. <clears throat> Drill a quarter inch hole back down through here. You are drilling all the way through the seat, right? All the way through the seat. <clears throat> Four locations. And the reason you have to put a quarter inch hole in there <clears throat> is for your T-nut. They come in the top side of the wing. So where you sit at, that's where these T-nuts go. Take your small hammer. <clears throat> pound them down in there. Flip it back over, put your saddle clamps back down, put your control stick in there, take two washers and two screws, put your screw through the, bra or the flat plate, put a washer on, both sides, this acts as a spacer. Put them down in there, and it'll catch your T-nut. Do the same thing up front. <coughs> Put two screws in. Whoops. Two washers on the bottom of the bracket. That's all there is to your control stick. You just want to make sure it spins free or turns free in there. But before you put your wing back on, you'll have to take this back apart to get your wing on first. Then you put this control stick back down in there. Because this will not turn far enough <coughs> to get past your, bulk, your seat back right here.
Now you're going to want to sand this area in here smooth so your legs don't get caught on a sliver or something like that in this area. You have to come back through here, pick up these holes in the spacer. Now the wing is complete, we can install it back onto the fuselage. Okay, we brought the fuselage back up and we're going to start putting the steering linkage in in the back. You already got your bell crank in, like we did before. We're going to use the 4 inch 90 degree link. You're going to have two nuts under it. Put the link on. One nut above that. And you're going to tighten them down. Okay, so you want to put two nuts below this link and one nut above the link. Then you want to tighten everything down real good and tight. This link will go to your control stick once your wing is on. So this is going to turn on here, so it will go back and forth like this. Now we're going to put the wing back on. All right, ready? We're going to start putting the wing on. Do not, repeat, do not glue your wing onto the fuselage. Just because if you have to take it off, you can for easier storage or if you have to put it in a car or something. So do not glue your wing on. Also makes painting easier. And it makes painting easier also. So at this point, you can put four screws in, it's fine. It's just going to be temporary because we're going to take it all off and <coughs> paint it <coughs> again and seal it. Okay, your wing is on. Now we're going to put the control stick back in there and the clamps and everything. <clears throat> Get the little. This is why you have to have the bolt in the control stick. Because if you get it down in there, you can't get the bolt in. You put your 90 degree link, attach it to your control stick with another nut. You may or may not need two nuts below it. Just depends how everything lines up. We're going to leave one in there right now. And you want to snug them up. Yep. Okay. That's most of your steering. How it works. Now we're going to put the tail door on. You want to glue this area. The bevel side 
goes down or up as you're looking at it. You want to line this up so your screws are exactly above the dowels, the screw holes, and you want to clamp this and let it dry. Now we're going to put your tail wheel on. The tail door is dried, so you want to put another quarter inch bolt facing down other wheel with one nut for sure, all the way on. If you don't put this nut in, you'll be taking the tail wheel back off. Okay, you're going to line this up, the tail wheel, to the holes in the tail door. Drill down through there. Put a screw in. And repeat it for the other three holes. Put the remaining three screws in. <clears throat> okay, the tail wheel is attached. On the tail wheel, you have two holes in the front and two holes in the back. So the two holes that are narrow together go to the back. <clears throat> okay, right now we're going to put our controls rod to the controls wheel or the tail wheel to the bell crank. You got to make sure your control stick is centered. So what I do, put it on there with one nut. Just hand tight is fine. And you want to center your tail wheel to the rudder so it is straight forward and aft. So what you want to do next, you're going to have to cheat this hole a little bit. So I come up to about right here. And that's where I'm going to drill that hole. You see where this hole is lined up with the tail wheel. So you take this back off and drill this quarter inch hole in the back. Okay, we drilled the hole in the control rod to the tail wheel. Put that on. And we're going to take this back off. Now hopefully if everything works, it steers correctly. And that's how easy that is. On your final assembly, you'll want to double nut this one. And you'll want to double nut this one and this one down here. You always want three nuts on each bolt total. So the next thing we're going to do is put in the tail door, the oil cooler door. Oil cooler door. The bevel goes up. So you're going to lay that in here like this. Pick up your screws coming in from the side. I always do one side at a time. Glue it. Put it back in there. Come around and do the other side. Same way. Countersink the hole also. There's your tail door, or your oil cooler door installed. <clears throat> Alright, now we got the wing installed, temporarily, but everything's hooked up. Now we're going to sand the bottom of the nose. And this is just going to be a temporary sand, 
because this has to be fit when you put the lower cowling on and also the upper cowling on. You're going to have to trim or sand this a little bit no matter what. So on the nose, I want to bring this radius up to about right in here. Something like that. In that area. Place you're going to run around this edge here on your fuselage, both left and right. There's no set measurement. It's all done by feel and fit. There is contours on the plans. Uh, just get it to fit best you can and it'll look good, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm going to stop right there, leave it till we start putting the sheet metal on. Then I may have to sand this off a little bit more to get it to fit. But that's about what it needs to look like when you get done. So that's about all the sanding there is, except for your finished sanding. And uh, other than that, we're Ready to put the landing gear on next time and hopefully the sheet metal. So again, thank you very much for watching the videos. Mm -hmm.